Hello students. So we completed three problems. Now this is the fourth problem. Important one. The question is a cylinder of diameter 30 mm and height 50 mm long resting on HP on its base. The axis of the cylinder is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and perpendicular to VP. Draw its projections. So for every problem I am telling one thing. In question definitely they will mention the name of the polygon name of the polygon here is cylinder they will mention the condition resting on HP on its base base on HP we have to start the problem on HP what are the inclinations here 30 degrees to HP perpendicular to HP so read the question carefully first then next find out these four points name of the polygon condition where we have to start HP or VP inclinations right so we solve three problems we know now how to solve this one cylinder diameter is 30 mm so first with 30 mm diameter construct the circle right then next divide this circle into 12 equal parts Right? We know A of 1, B of 2, C of 3, D of 4, E of 5, so on. Use the numbers like this. Then next, leave 5 mm gap. Draw the reference line. Right? From reference line, height is how much here? 50 mm. From reference line to this prism, height is here 50 mm. Right? So start here, alphabets. Starting point is here A, A dash. Next here, B, L. B dash of L dash. C, K, C dash of K dash, D, J, D, J, D dash of J dash, so on. Write down alphabets here, write down numbers here. Same process, right? So what we are doing after constructing circle, we are dividing 12 equal parts. Then next we are leaving 5 mm gap. We are drawing a reference line. Then next from the reference line, height is here, 15. Height here is 15 mm. Then next we are projecting all the points. From B and L we are drawing a straight line. From C and K we are drawing a straight line. From D and J again from E and I. Then next again from F and H. Right. So this is our initial position. Right. This is just step 1, step 2. So where we have to draw step 3? We have to draw step 3 here. Right? What is the Now after completion of initial position, we have to mark angles here. What they mentioned? 30 degrees to HP. So the axis of the cylinder is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Middle line. Center line is nothing but axis line. Right? So First, same pro same as previous problems only. First, draw the axis line of any length. Right? Here, the angle is 30 degrees. Right? This is your right angle triangle 90 degrees. Right? Or directly, how we are solving second position? This is second position. Take 30 degrees angle. Right? What we are doing, we are constructing this prism here with an angle of 30 degrees. Measure this length from 1 to 7. Anyway, it will be 30. Right? By trial and error method, 15 mm here, 15 mm here. Right? Then next, join this one. Right? I think you understand. Once again, I am telling second position. The axis of cylinder is inclined at 30 degrees to HP. First, construct this axis line of any length first of all angle here is 30 degrees right after that measure this length from 1 dash to 7 dash measure this length this will be 30 right measure this length and draw here by trial and error method 15 mm should touch here this point 
15 mm should touch here this point right now from this point to this point height is 50 mm from here to here height is 50 mm and here height is 50 mm join this one right then next draw these lines how we are drawing just we are measuring from a to b distance is how much draw a line b to c c to d d to e e to f just show on this so after completion of this what we are doing we are drawing the extensional lines from every point from j draw a straight line from k and i from l and h from a and j from b and f from c and e from d draw the extensional lines then what we have to do from first point to first from second point to second from third point to third from fourth point to fourth right like that if you join all this you will get one circle here same here also from a point to a from b point to b from c point to c right so on if you draw join all this you will get another circle here if you join this two you will get the shape of the cylinder right this is your middle position right now what is the final position here 30 degrees to hp and perpendicular to vp perpendicular to vp means 90 degrees to vp right so how we are constructing third step third step depends on second step assuming that the second step was in a box right so this is to a cylinder assume that this cylinder is in a box this is the starting point of the cylinder right this is the starting point of the cylinder this is the ending points of the cylinder so name it as here these points as here p q r yes p q r s is a box right condition is perpendicular to vp 90 degrees 90 degrees means you know you have to rotate like this through 90 degrees you have to rotate this one so here p q is a vertical line draw it in horizontal manner p q measure this length draw here right then next q r keep your protector here mark 90 degrees q r r s p s same this box we are constructing here after that the important thing is in between p and q how many lines are there from p point to first point from first point to second point second point to third third to fourth fourth to five five to six measure this distances from p to q draw the lines right the next in between q and r in between q and r how many lines are there one two three four five six like it measure the distances between each lines and draw here right so you will get one cylinder here you will get one circle here you will get another circle here if you join this two it looks like a cylinder right after constructing this we know again from every point from a b c d e f g 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right draw the horizontal lines from every point same here we are writing the numbers here right 1 2 3 from 1 to 1 from 2 to 2 from 3 to 3 from 4 to 4 if you join that you will get one circle here you will get another circle here right join this two it looks like a cylinder right this is your final position after completion of your problem write down here Thank you. Top view. Right. Diameter of circle is 30 mm. Height is 50 mm. Angle is 30 degrees.
it i hope you understand this problem